Let's go over enrolling members new and existing on Covered California. Let's get started. There's actually two ways to get this taken care of. Number one is the most safest way possible to ensure that you are the broker of record during the open enrollment. Um, the next one, it's actually more, qu it, it's quicker. So uh, it's depending on quality versus quantity that you want to pivot uh, depending on your strategy for open enrollment. Okay, so let's get into the first scenario. Uh, let's say you have a client that has never enrolled on Cover California before, um, and we're going to go into two different variations of how you can get somebody enrolled on a, a plan. So this is after you've already sent a proposal to a client and they've decided they want to enroll for coverage. First thing, go ahead and open up your broker portal with Cover California. You're going to click on My Delegations. You're going to click on My Dashboard. And on the left-hand side, you're going to click Start New Application. Okay, so in this case, you're going to click on Apply Now. Enter some very basic information about the client. So when it asks, you know, how did you hear about Cover California, you can put Enrollment Counselor or Agent. Application date is going to be today's date. In this case, we'll do August 31st. Source of the application, since you're on the phone with the client, you just click Phone. ECM ID, that is now optional. So you can always choose Phone to make that optional so you can bypass that. So clicking on Next. Do you allow us to verify your information? So again, one thing while you're on the phone, it's best to let the client know that they're going to need a few pieces of, of documentation. Uh, if they are, let's say, a U.S. citizen, if they can get a copy of their driver's license or a passport, that would be beneficial. Uh, a lot of brokers, what they'll do is they'll ask, hey, can you just take a picture of it and send it my way so I can upload it while we're on the phone? Or even if you're doing a screen share, you can show them, hey, I'm going to upload your documents uh, right now. So once you click Next, now you have two paths to take. Uh, here you can say, I want help uh, finding affordable health coverage. That's qualifying for subsidies. If you do click yes on here, um, in addition to the standard information about the client, such as their name, social address, things like that, it's going to ask a series of tax information. It's not anything you have to worry about. It's just going to say, you know, yes or no questions. Did the client have an employer? Great. What's their name? How much did they make over the year? Do they have any other forms of income, such as, you know, if they'll go through a, an entire list of, you know, did you receive any income from X, Y, or Z, clicking yes or no and typing in the amount, at the very end it will inform you of exactly how much subsidy, if any, that the person actually qualifies for. Now, if you know they don't qualify for subsidies, such as you have somebody who makes less than roughly $18,000 a year they'll qualify for Medi-Cal but they much prefer to enroll uh, for standard you know ACA coverage through the exchange you can bypass that by clicking no or if they make you know two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year they're well beyond the subsidy threshold and they know they're gonna have to pay full price rather than asking all the task uh, tax questions you can simply select no uh, and here of course it's the introduction so this is the very start of the application it's just a series of questions, really, really simple. You just click on household information by clicking start. Once you're done with this, such as, you know, what's the household makeup, who's the primary applicant on this, uh, on this enrollment, you're going to go down the line until you hit review and submit. Once you hit review and submit, you'll actually be taken to the plan selection area where you can choose the plan for the client, enter the billing information, and they'll immediately be enrolled for the coverage uh, based on their effective date and eligibility. Now, again, this is the safest way, but I do want to let you know it can take anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to enroll somebody uh, like this. So if you don't have many clients or not expecting to have many clients during Q4, this would be the best and safest option. All right, so here's, here's part two. So this is something that we've developed. It's instructions that you can send to your client. And again, this is in the attachment section. So all you have to do is just highlight all of this information uh, and adjust as necessary down here where it says enter your name here. That's where you as the agent types in your name. And you can keep it handy. So anytime that you are running a proposal, so you've gone over how to run a proposal for a client, and they've decided they want to enroll on Cover California for the very first time, all you need to do is send this over to them. Now what this includes is something that they don't have to do, but it is part of the step-by-step -step process. Okay, so the reason why I say this can be a little risky because honestly the, the client is done at the end of step eight here. 
So a client can enroll completely by themselves. And what this whole instruction manual is, is for brokers who have a high qual qual quantity of clients and they are trying to kind of rapid fire, get people enrolled, get people enrolled, get people enrolled. Uh, so once they've gone over what plan that they want, they'll send these instructions. And what these instructions are is essentially telling a client to go onto Cover California on their own, creating their own account, um, going through those questions that you would have gone through with them over the phone, i.e., you know, tax information if they want to qualify for subsidies and whatnot, and then uh, picking a plan and enrolling. By once they do enroll, they don't have to do anything else. But if you if they want, once they are done with getting the coverage active, these are the additional steps. And that goes back to the agent delegation, the video that you may have seen previously, but it's included in these instructions where once you do have the plan selected and you are enrolled as a client, you'd log back into your Cover California account. You would select find local help, find an agent, search for your name, and then you would select that agent. So that's that's what the client would do once they select that agent. So you may not see them in your broker portal, and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we're on the broker level uh, dashboard here for Cover California. So if that client followed all of your instructions, it means they would have created an account on Cover California, went through the questions, selected their plan, enrolled, and then searched you out as an agent to delegate yourself. And uh, you can actually find that here under My Delegations. From the dashboard, click My Delegations and Pending Delegations Request. And their name, again, would show up here. Very similar to delegating yourself or getting a, a broker of record uh, for a client. This is exactly where you would see their name, and all you do is click Approve so you can become their agent. So that saves you a lot of time. So if you're dealing with two, 300 clients at a time, and you simply send out those instructions, um, you would just simply check in on the pending delegations to make sure they've gone through the entirety of your instructions. Now, if you don't see their name here, it's always a good idea to follow up with them and let them know, hey, you know, you, you may be enrolled right now. I, we just need to finish that final step is me being delegated as your agent to perform member advocacy and just make sure everything's accurate. Uh, where you can go back to the agent delegation tool by clicking on My Delegations, clicking on My Dashboard, and clicking on the delegation tool. And then, of course, you type in their information, search their name, and essentially assign yourself as um, as their agent. So I won't go into that because there is a separate video that's specifically for delegating yourself as a client, uh, dele delegating yourself as an agent, that is. Um, so if you want, you can always refer back to that video as well to see how to get a, a broker of record. And actually, speaking of delegation and broker of record, uh, that's the secondary uh, form here. So we just went over how to enroll somebody that's new to Cover California, but let's say they are existing to Cover California. They already have an account. Maybe they're enrolled on an existing plan and they just simply want to change their plan or look at different options. So the first thing you ever want to ask a client is if they are enrolled on Cover California or if they've ever created an account. If they ever say yes, the first thing that you do before you can go any further is you want to make sure that you are delegated as their agent. So this is for an existing client. There we go. So back on the broker portal, uh, of course, if you're on the phone with them, again, My Delegations, My Dashboard, Delegation Tool, and then follow the process of doing the agent delegation from the video previously, uh, just go, going down the line. So once they become your client, then you'll go back into uh, you'll go back into the broker portal, and you can actually view their information. All right. So back on the dashboard here, again, my delegations. Now click on active consumers, and this is where their information will show up because you're now their broker. Uh, so you'll have a bit, uh, you know, a nice list uh, that you can choose. Just click on in, any of the names or the consumer name, and you can go immediately into their consumer application. And from here, you can take a look at what plan that they're currently enrolled on. Uh, you can scroll down and see are they enrolled on a, pl a plan. If they are, it'll show up down here. Uh, and from there, you can run a few additional proposals. Um, additionally, if they are an existing consumer, it's always important to ask if there's been any changes, such as marriages, divorces, births, adoptions, uh, changes in income, uh, changes in job status. Uh, so once they are your client, first thing you want to do is make sure you click on Report a Change. And again, clicking on here, it'll take you through a step-by-step -step process. Very simple, very easy. Uh, it's just simply 
going to ask you, okay, what exactly changed? Is it income? Is it family status? Is it, did they move? You know, what are those changes? Um, and then you just follow the prompts until at the very end where you click save and it'll take you back here. And after you've provided them some additional proposals, let's say they were on an Anthem plan, they decided to move to a, a, an Oscar plan. Uh, from right here, all you have to do is click on choose plan and it'll take you immediately to the plan selection page where it'll have a list of all of the carriers uh, that you can choose from. You pick on the desired plan that they wanted in the first place, uh, and then you say enroll now. It'll ask for any changes in the billing information, and then you're done. Uh, so that's really it. That's all you have to do for an existing client. The number one thing, again, always ask if they currently have an account with Cover California. If they do, the very next discussion that you'll have with them is making sure that you are their agent of record. All right, so once you become their agent of record, you'll be able to look into their account and make the changes the changes appropriately. So it's a little bit easier than than having a brand new client on there. Um, so yeah, that's it for the enrollment for both existing and new clients, as well as the speedy way versus the longer way, the safer way. So each one of those, think about what you're going to do during Q4 and pivot as necessary. All right, have any more questions? Let us know.